we have Paul Lucy, who is giving an invited presentation. We're delighted he accepted. And Paul will be talking about the composition and origins of lunar polar volatiles. So take it away, Paul. Thank you, Parvati. So it's uh, great to see everybody on WebEx. It's such a refreshing change from seeing everybody on Zoom. Um, so a five minute talk uh, capturing the composition of origins and origins of lunar polar volatiles. It's sort of symbolic of how little we know about this. Uh, so I'm gonna dive in right now. So uh, next slide, please. So let me start at the end in the interest of time, in case I drone on. So. Um, in terms of the composition, remote neutron measurements by Lunar Prospector and then LEND uh, really confirm the original hypothesis that there could be volatiles concentrated at the lunar pole. So this was a, that was a critical measurement. Uh, Craig went over the, some of the limitations and how um, he's going to be improving that situation. Uh, the second point is uh, multiple lines of evidence support the presence of some surface ice. Uh, M cube, uh, 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 Shui Li in Hawaii using M cube data have uh, noticed that uh, there are diagnostic features due, due to uh, uh, surface water ice at the lunar poles. Uh, Lola. Uh, reflectance measurements show anomalously high reflectance in portions of the permanent shadowed regions. And then the LAMP UV experiment, Paul Hain and others have, have shown that the uh, on-band, off-band water ice ratio is, is uh, anomalous and uh, indicative of surface water ice. Um, there's been a lot of talk about bulk ice, but surface water ice is very important because uh, the li actual lifetime of surface ice against losses other than temperature uh, mean that th that surface ice needs to be continuously renewed somehow. Uh, so surface ice is an indicator of buried ice. Speaking of buried ice, uh, uh, LRO and Earth-based bi biostatic radar, Wes Patterson and his folks, uh, they may have uh, started to detect buried ice using uh, radar measurements. And finally, the, the 500 pound gorilla, uh, L-Cross detected a, a wide range of compounds, including hydrogen, uh, sulfur, and carbon bearing compounds. And then next slide, please. So as I mentioned, L-Cross uh, made some critical measurements. I'm gonna make an assertion, might have an actual time to talk about a slide, but uh, uh, both cometary and volcanic sources appear to be present based on the L-Cross data. Uh, the solar wind source isn't well constrained by L-Cross, but the other two sources, uh, it looks like uh, L-Cross may be seeing uh, evidence of that. Um, Ariel Deutsch has shown recently that surface ice, uh, again, possible indicator of buried ice, does not occur on Copernican surfaces supporting uh, an ancient source for these uh, volatiles. Next slide. So we have planned and potential future orbital missions. Uh, there, there's a strong possibility of organics in the surface. Trailblazer will be sensitive to that and possibly mu at much below one weight percent. Uh, Bethany, I'm sure, will tell us more about that. Uh, they also have the capability of detecting ammonia and carbon dioxide. Uh, Trailblazer and flashlight will map the distribution of surface water ice and potentially uh, some of these other volatiles. Um, Luna HMAP will, will finally refine the correlation between the hydrogen and the temperature in the, the PSRs. And we have some potential future missions, just a couple here. Um, one is to characterize the upper few centimeters with a dust detector equipped with mass spectroscopy that can even do uh, 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 isotopic measurements. Uh, we can also map sulfur compounds, including uh, sulfur, SO2, and, and H2S uh, with some future mission. Okay, next slide. Uh, let's go forward two slides. One more. Okay, so these uh, in, in uh, red One and minute. blue are the, uh, uh, are the, the signatures, uh, elemental signatures of cometary sources and water uh, um, volcanic sources. So red is the volcanic and, and blue is the cometary. 
And then in that weird, weird coin stack uh, font uh, is the L cross distribution, uh, elemental distribution, which really is reminiscent of a volcanic source, but there is enough nitrogen there that we also need a commentary source. So I'll, I'll wrap it right there. Thanks, Carbide. Okay.